Hey everyone, it's Ludicrous Shots, and uh, you guys might be thinking, hey, you haven't done anything funny, you haven't been um, exciting in any of your videos ever since Happy Wheels, which was months, two months ago. Yeah, okay, the reason, uh, I've been doing speed art, so can't really commentate over that, and um, the thing is, I've been trying to do tutorials and stuff, so, I mean, there's not a lot of jokes I can make with these, but... Uh, I know that you guys want some comedy too, so I will do more Happy Wheels in the future, most likely. Or other things, you know. Some that you guys will get a kick out of, and I will too. But today's tutorial is on Cinema 4D, and I'm going to be showing you how to render text perfectly and make it as high definition as you possibly can. So the first thing you want to do, get your text. So just get some mo text or whatever. Now, the thing is, people like they get the file but they don't know how to render it or whatever and when they put it in photoshop it'll have like a black background or if there's lighting in the background it'll look terrible so what you want to do is take your text and do type whatever you're going to type i'm just going to do beauty or no love because love's a good thing all right so now that we have our love sign um I'm just going to change it to make it look sexier, just so you can tell it's 3D. And I'm just going to make a material. I just want to do this so you guys can see when I later put it in Photoshop. Alright, so I do have everything all set up and good. Good to go. Um, get a light. Bring the light back here. Alright, so now that we have this, we don't want to click this yet. We want to click this. You don't need to, you don't need to, like, go to this. You don't, okay, on PCs, there's, like, options. You can just click on this button. It'll take you right here. This is the important part. What you want to do is go to custom settings, screen, 1024 by 768. Lock the ratio. You don't really need to do that, but just for the sake. And... Here is another important part. Like, if you want it to be shiny or anything, put it on best. Alright, this is the critical part that you need to do. And what's nice about Cinema 4D is that you can always make this a preset. So you could basically... See, I have GFX as a preset, but I could save this as a preset. So every time I go here, um, this will be a preset. It will be YouTube. And... I can go here and it'll already have all the settings all set up for me already. So what we want to do is name the file. I'm just going to say tut uh, tutorial c4d. Now this is the really important part, pay attention. What you want to do is click alpha channel. Then, with this part it says tiff, psd. If you don't do this, your text will come out with stuff in the background. png and elf channel. So once you have those both selected, you're going to be good to go. And you can just render out the text. Alright, so that looks pretty sexy. Now what people do is, when they don't save it right, when they put it in Photoshop, it will still have this black background. Which wouldn't to be bad for this, but when there's other things, you just wouldn't want a black background because you'll have to edit it out and stuff. So now when we go to Photoshop, and we get, we put it in wherever we're doing it, so... Um, phase is popular. Why not name a file that? Okay, and then if you have like an orange background, you're not, or let's just take this like pale yellow. It's gross color, but um, if you go to place, this will keep the quality at its highest. And then you go to wherever you saved it. I, however, have my own folder for that, so. C4D works. And then what did I name the file? Tut for you C4D. So then when we place it, look at that. It's nice. There's nothing in the background of it. It's just literally the object itself. So when you press check, it'll make the quality extremely high quality. And I don't know if a five movie is gonna make this look good or not, but it looks really awesome. And I don't have to edit anything really. There you go. Um, so 
that's all you have to do for this, and that's how you render text in Cinema 4D. I hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial. Um, if you did, drop a like. And I want to give a shout out to Link Designs or Cole. He's the one that asked me on Skype, but I figured I'd do a tutorial for all of you. So um, go check out his channel. I'll put it in the description if he tells me what it is. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. Peace out, and I hope this helps.